Don't forget to check out and grab your copy of our two newly released books, Football, A Love Story, and What Did Football Teach Me? These books feature over 100 stories from current and former coaches, players, executives, and entertainers from across the football landscape describing what got them involved in a game, what they love about it, and what life lessons the game taught them. You can find your copy or order your copy from our website at footballgameplan.com slash books. Welcome to another edition of Four Downs with the Czar. I'm Emery Hunt, the Czar of the Playbook here at historic Franklin Field where the Penn Quakers knocked off the Yale Bulldogs 34 to 20. So let's jump right into this video with first down. Looking at Penn's offensive attack, they dictated both the pace and the tempo throughout the course of this ball game. Running the football when they had to, going up tempo, no huddle when they had to, snapping the ball fast when they had to, slowing it down to the into the play clock when they had to. So again, they dictated the tempo and the pace in this ball game, which is why they were able to control the tempo and pace from the first quarter throughout. Looking at second down Yale's offense, they moved the ball at ease versus Penn's defense. The only problem was that inside the red zone, starting the second half, they threw two crucial and costly interceptions when they were going in the score. This game could have been a shootout. Instead, it ended up being a 34-20 loss for Yale, but their offense, again, moved the football up and down the field, but those two costly turnovers in the red zone happened in the end zone. Again, cost these guys points, which ultimately led them to lose this ball game. Looking at third down this ball game, Penn's defense, it was a bend but don't break type of approach tonight for the Quakers, and they didn't break inside the red zone and on third downs. I thought they did a great job in getting Yale off the field on third downs when they had to, and inside the red zone, again, forcing those two turnovers, which were interceptions, inside the end zone. Looking at fourth down Yale's defense, I thought they had problems defending the deep pass all night long. Why? Because they couldn't get pressure on Alex Torgus in the quarterback of Penn. Without pressure, your secondary will struggle to cover these receivers, and that's what ultimately happened in this ballgame. Torgerson had a field they throwing deep down the field because they couldn't get pressure up front. Uh, the Yale Bulldogs defensive line couldn't get pressure back there. So you have to credit not only the offensive line, but the tight ends of Penn in this ballgame doing a great job in pass protection. Player of the game for Yale was Austin Ruland, the running back, 5'10", 200-pound senior. I thought he did a solid job in the second half running the football, chewing up the T.O.P., especially once they got inside the red zone. And late in the third quarter, he punched one in, which helped shrink this ball game or, or get the ball game close to where Yale still had a shot to win it. So I thought the running game was working well, especially in the second half. So Austin Ruland of Yale gets my player of the game on that side. And for Penn, the player of the game is Alex Torgus in the quarterback, 6'3", 230, June did a great job all day long over 300 yards passing four touchdowns he was very impressive from a prospect standpoint and also from a play standpoint in this game so again those two guys Austin Rulin of Yale and Alec Torgerson of Penn gets my vote for player of the game and the play of the game was an obvious one there was two plays actually made by the Penn Quakers defense two red zone interceptions that happened in the end zone which essentially sealed this ball game for them and helped them knock off Yale 34 to 20 so that was a two big plays in this ball game because this game again was going back and forth a lot of Yale actually had a 10 point lead starting the game and then Penn came back tied the game took the lead and they were going back and forth until those two crucial interceptions in the red zone so that was a big plays of this game and for more Four Downs with the Czar, visit our website at footballgameplan.com slash Four Downs with the Czar. And to catch all of my scouting notes from this ball game, a lot of good scouting notes on some prospects in this matchup, visit our website at footballgameplan.com slash Hunt's Scouting Notes.